I played my first year in footy was when I was, I think, four or five. I played my older brother. So I started playing at Liverpool Catholic Club. That was my first club. I played there until I was about 10 and then moved over to Cabramatta. I wasn't too good when I was younger. I used to kind of muck around a bit and just stand, stand on the side and just kick grass. But I, later on when I actually thought, you know, going into high school, I thought I was, I was actually pretty decent. So I went to Westfield Sports and kind of pursued my, like everyone's dream, which is, you know, to play NRL. So I, I started pursuing my dream from there. Yeah, I remember that I was pretty young. I actually just broke my leg when I was 14, 15, and got offered a just a you know little little contract to sign to say I'll stay loyal to the club. And I was um I was pretty amazed like that they were going to give me a contract even though I was injured. And uh, I'm grateful that they um they actually looked after me until up until I left. Oh, it's um. It's just uh, another thing for your like footy resume kind of thing. I don't think too much about it, but it is good that I've got to experience that and like to play again, play with boys that are going to play NRL. You know, like it's 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 pretty amazing that there's so many there's so much talent in the youth, and I, I'm grateful to be a part of that too. Yeah, I, I couldn't wait to get on the field. Unfortunately, I didn't get to play too long, but um, I, I'm grateful again and. I'm happy that I got to make my debut for my um, uh, first club I've been at. I saw, for me personally, I saw um, opportunity and I saw a club that's um, uh, about to turn around. And I, I think that with the group of boys we have here, we have a, we have a good chance this year. And uh, I think we're gonna surprise people this year. A lot of the boys, we're all here to support each other, and every day we're here to you know make each other better. And the younger boys, I think, having a good young crew like helps the older boys too. We push the older boys, and the older boys push us. So, I think overall, everyone's everyone's pretty good. Uh, uh, yeah, he's um, he's he's been good too. You know, just having a different different view on the game, but still pretty similar to my old coach. And um, just our game, I think he 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 gives me little tips on how I can improve and things I need to work on. And I think as a whole, as a whole, we we all need to do that. Probably a junior Polo from my old club, and he's um he's a big he's a big guy, can play long minutes, and he's got a he's got good ball playing, and I think that's what I supposed to be. Um, just like to hang out at home with my son. I just had a son; he's um four months old now, and I just like to chill at home and just relax, and I play a bit of games too. Definitely Call of Duty. <laughs> I have to play a bit of Warzone with the boys, but <laughs> yeah, just have a little bit of fun. I'll be a close, close top player in the team, I reckon. Yeah, close top player, I reckon. <laughs> I think the worst, the worst would have to be um, definitely probably um, William Key. William Key, probably the worst player.